Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. Um, so today I wanted to talk about a couple of things that I have figured out or noticed in the last um, couple of days and yeah, just what, what that has made me think about, what that um, has made me realize that I need to be aware of and yeah and, and maybe it's a little different because we're here on the mission field right now maybe that would be um, maybe some of these things would be different in the US I'm not um, for sure I guess I could let you know if they were different um, once we've spent some time in the US so one of those things is I feel like since getting married, I have become more introverted than I was previously. I still get a lot of energy from spending time with people and being around them and um, just being in that type of environment, but I also just really enjoy sitting by myself, watching YouTube videos, or listening to a book, or reading a book, um, taking a nap, having that quiet time to myself. And as a mom, that is not something I get very often. And when I'm tired, I think I crave it even more, just that alone time. And a lot of times, um, it's hard to remember that I need to put the kids first and you know, get through the day and then hopefully I can have some of that time. So, I'm an extroverted introvert, or maybe I'm just an extrovert that recharges well when they've had time for themselves. Um, and I think in a lot of ways, I've become overwhelmed just by the situation of not being able to adopt the twins, um, having the twins plus Thomas. We're talking about three kids, Thomas is four and the twins are one, and the, the twins are just a lot different than any biological child um, in the sense of they might be one years old, but they need probably as much attention as an infant. Um, they're just, they really crave that attention and don't like you to leave the room and, you know, want to be held or um, cuddled or, um, they're just, they're just delayed on some of that stuff. And so... It's, I feel like that, you know, sometimes can just take a lot out of you. And here, being on the mission field, it's hotter. Um, so the constant heat can take it out of you. The difference in culture, hearing a language that's not your mother tongue on a daily basis. And there's just a lot of different things that if we were back in Indiana, those would not be factors. Um, if we were back in Indiana and staying there long term, I wouldn't, you know, yeah, we could foster and then eventually adopt and, you know, when you're not going from one place to another, it's just, um, life's different. And I think Dan and I have both come to the conclusion that we need to be okay with just just having biological children at this point, um, but also keeping our hands and home open to children that we could possibly take care of, even if it's for a temporary amount of time. Um, but we need to be able to be flexible because we've, we've moved around so much. We're going to move at the end of May. have, you know, that time in the United States, and so, yeah, it's just, 
things we're figuring out and just how things are supposed to look. And I think a lot of times when you're on the mission field or you're away from family, um, what, what normally would be maybe not a big deal or feel like a smaller situation can become magnified. I feel like a lot of times my stress level is magnified or just how things are handled is magnified because we're here, um, not completely by ourselves, but it's not like, you know, we have grandma and grandpa down the road or aunts and uncles down the road or whatever. With that being said, I'm very thankful for the friends that have stepped up, like today, for example. The girls were just extra fussy. I was trying to get it you know, Thomas in a situation where he wasn't on his tablet, Dan's still trying to get ahead and school things, so I just wanted an extra set of hands, you know, to, to sit on the floor with the twins or to get Thomas playing with his cars and not playing on his tablet, and thankfully two great friends answered that call, and I know, you know, this is something that we decided and that we asked for, but I'm also learning that we can't do it on our own. You know, that saying it takes a village to raise a child, that's, that's true in any circumstance, whether that's a biological child or a foster child or adopted, like, you've got to have that village there to help you because sometimes you're just tired and I, I've found that if other people are around, it calms me down, it helps me not to stress as much, um, and just kind of keep, keep my, you know, my mood or my level of whatever in check, and it's just, it's a blessing, so I'm so, so thankful for that help, and just the conversation, and, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm learning that I thrive on that time that I get to myself, but I also thrive on having people around, having, you know, other adults and just taking care of kids together and not completely doing it on our own. And so, more milk. Go steady. Daddy. Thomas is asking for more milk. Um, other thing that I've come to realize is something I probably should have been, I mean, I've been aware of kind of, but um, just to, I, I still don't fully understand it, and that is anxiety. I struggle with a little bit of anxiety. I, I wouldn't say a ton. I've never been on medication. I've never really been to therapy specifically for anxiety, but having people around helps with that level of anxiety. Um, it's always been really hard for me if Dan's been gone on a trip or way or whatever because my mind goes to the worst case scenario or you know I sit there and I'm like oh can I do this and so I know I've always known that I've kind of dealt with that and just you know it's always been a constant okay how do I figure this out how do I work through this but lately I've realized I sleep better if I have heavy, heavy blankets or a heavy blanket on, something that just kind of presses down on me that's not just a light sheet or a light blanket, which is funny because we're in the tropics, okay? It's hot here all the time. I mean, sometimes it's cooler, but very, very rarely. 
And so the fact that I have discovered that if I don't have this heavier blanket on, if I don't have this, this blanket is heavier, if I don't have this on, plus this sheet and the comforter, um, I don't sleep well. And so the, the blanket needed washed and so it wasn't on the bed last night. And I just had the sheet and the regular comforter. And I was like, okay, this is okay, you know, I'll be okay. I've got my diffuser, I've got my pillow spray. Like, tonight will be fine. I will be fine. But the lightness of the blanket, I just, I didn't feel, like, secure. Or the comfort or the, just the pressure that I needed. And, um, I didn't sleep well. I was, I doze off for a little bit and then I was up again. I look at the clock. And then I doze off a little bit, and then I wake up, and I just, and so I think with not sleeping well, that also added to the stress of today with the girls being fussy, and when I'm tired, I don't react like I should, and so yeah, it's just, I'm trying to become more aware of what I deal with personally, and working on, okay, how do I take care of those things so that I can be the best mom that Thomas needs and be the, the caretaker that the twins need right now and just be a good friend, be a good wife, be a good teacher, just all of that. And one of the things that I mentioned to my students on Friday, we were talking about what we needed to do to look at our walk with the Lord. Like, where are we? Or, you know, just um, how, are, how are things going with our relationship with the Lord? And I tried to be honest with the kids. Like, if I'm not intentional about being in the Word in the morning and intentional about praying and really giving Him the focus and the time that He deserves and the honor and glory that He deserves, like, a lot of times if my day isn't going well, then my mood or whatever can just affect the day. or. If I haven't been in the Word, I feel like my emotions and things sometimes can be more magnified. And so I'm trying to encourage the students and myself to walk closer to the Lord because life is tough. And um, if I'm not, you know, I've got to be willing to admit it that it's tough and difficult and we'll have challenges and not be easy not like this oh you're a missionary so you have all this figured out and, you know it's just a walk in the park it's not and a lot of times what I feel like I should be able to deal with very easily becomes just magnified even more depending on the situation and so yeah I'm trying to make sure that I'm working on spending more time with the Lord making sure that I'm willing to ask friends like, hey, do you mind just coming over and sitting with me, you know, while I sit on the floor and have all these kids climb all over me, you know, just, I didn't ask them, you know, to do a lot. I wasn't expecting somebody to come over and clean the house or do the dishes or do cooking. I just, I wanted somebody to sit with me while I sat with the girls on the floor and they did. And that just, it made a difference, you know, and, and just, I don't know, because when you're watching the same movie over and over again, or a lot of times for the twins, there's like these worship DVDs that we'll put in, but we only have two worship DVDs, okay? And each worship DVD has like 10 songs. So you're talking about the same 20 songs over and over and over and over and over again. And with the twins, a lot of times they won't even let you get up and use the restroom. 
or you know get up and get a drink but if there's somebody else there to sit there and say hey I'm here you know to hold them it just it makes life so much easier and so I don't expect it every day because that's not realistic but I would definitely say the weekends are the hardest because those are you know Saturday and Sunday those are full days where you know, we don't have our day broken up with school or different outings or things so yeah I'm just so very thankful for understanding people and I'm thankful that I'm not the only one that goes through anxiety and difficulties and challenges so hope you enjoyed this video we'll talk to you next time bye god bless